So what does an iPhone and an electric unicycle have in common? Generally speaking, not a lot, but there is one company out there that has made and has continued to make, I guess for a while now, electric unicycles that just feel like a product. That would be InMotion. And I have their new wheel right here. Welcome. Hey. The InMotion V8F. It's a refresh of the InMotion V8. Coming alive. Now is the time. Don't try to hide. Cause I'm gonna call you like you wanna move. You take a finger better, think about your future. You're getting twisted thinking I don't wanna shoot ya. I've been waiting for a long time and I'm coming back to get what's mine. cold out here all right okay so first thing off the bat just riding it for a few minutes here I noticed that it is extremely smooth I mean really smooth it's kind of like hang gliding if you will um, it just kind of goes you know there's not really anything to it other than it's got a really nice tire I think the Kenda tire what they're using inside that tire helps uh, the nice big pedals help a lot and the motor is just really really smooth now one of the other things that's really great about this is the build quality. You know, I kind of said before that it's built like a product, like an iPhone or something. Every piece of the puzzle just sort of fits together. So the side shell is very durable. Um, it's the same as I think the V8. So if you've seen videos online of people throwing these things around, you can kind of see just how crazy it gets. But I mean, especially for a beginner, crashing this thing is not gonna be a big deal. It might get ugly, but you're not gonna crack your shell straight off the bat. It's really gonna hold up. Let's get into the specs. The second thing you'll notice is this thing is very agile. Um, which is to be expected. I mean, a 16 inch diameter tire and that smaller width is gonna give you a lot of agility, not to mention the fact that it's very lightweight. I think it's coming in around 32 pounds, which is like a really good weight to sort of spin this thing in any direction. I mean, you can really whip it around. But more importantly, it's easier for you to maneuver, especially if you're new to this sport. So these pedals right here are nice and big. If you can kind of see here, that's a pretty good width, like my whole hand fits on here, plus some more. So that's probably like close to 10 inches. But you've got this nice big pedal that allows your feet to sit really comfortably on this and not too much is hanging off the front of the back. Now, if you've got giant feet, you know, that's gonna be a little bit different. But for the most part, if you have average feet, this is gonna contribute a lot to how comfortable your ride is. So this wheel also has the lift sensor built into the handle, and it's a nice little button that makes kind of a pleasant sound. You can hear it here. Just that subtle little sound, and it disengages the motor right away. It's pretty instant, and then it re-engages when you drop down and let go. Um, another benefit to that is to allow you to stand it up, too. It has these little nubs on the end on both sides. I have the button depressed right now, so um, with the motor disengaged, the wind doesn't knock it over. Uh, your wheel would just stand up like this. That's another small amenity that makes this a really nice wheel. It's getting a little loud over here with the train and everything and uh, a little windy. We're gonna ride some more and uh, just see how this thing fares here in the city. Let's go.
know, I think the biggest attribute to this unicycle is its portability. It is so lightweight, it is not awkward, it's really easy to pick up and maneuver around. So if you're someone who's commuting a lot on, say, public transit, or you have a car that maybe you park far away from your work or wherever, this can be a great last mile device because it can easily be lifted up into your car, you can easily t carry it with you down some steps or up some steps. It's extremely portable. So one of the benefits to having this wheel is the trolley. It is uh, just right down inside of it. It's got a locking mechanism here. You just press the button and it releases it. And the benefit to that is it's centered in the wheel and if you were to crash or drop the wheel, um, it's not gonna go flying everywhere like other handles out there. And again, being centered in the wheel makes it really easy to trolley around. So if you need to go on some errands, you know, get some coffee or groceries or whatever, like it does really well when you bring around with you. Now, I have to mention, at the time of this video, the V10 is the next step up in the in-motion ranks, and it retails for about $100 more. And with that, you get a lot more specs, a lot beefier specs. However, that comes with extreme cost of portability. It's roughly about 15 pounds heavier than the V8F, which I think is a serious thing to consider, depending on your use case. So who's this wheel for? I think this wheel is for if you were looking to buy the V8 prior and you didn't know the V8F was coming out, but now it is, you're in luck. You're the perfect candidate to buy this wheel. Just spending a little bit more gets you a little bit more beefier, safer, longer distance, a little bit more speed, you know? Um, it's also for the person who doesn't need to go 30 plus miles an hour. If you're a guy who likes to do a lot of tricks, like there's some guys you know in Oregon doing pop shevets and crazy stuff like that, Definitely get this wheel. It's gonna be great for the beginner, just starting out in this hobby, in this sport, and it's gonna last you till you're about intermediate to advanced level. And you know what? If you're, again, not someone who needs to fly down the road, well into your advanced level riding, you will love this wheel. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share it around the internet because it helps me continue to make content for you. Um, if you wanna purchase, you can go to ewheels.com and buy this um, I think it's retailing for $1,098. It's a good price point. You can buy it online now. I think I've said enough on this subject. I hope you enjoy the V8F and uh, keep riding.